Hello everyone, how are you doing today? You are all welcome to my channel, Apostle Paul Taiwo YouTube channel, to my recent subscribers I want to say a very big thank you, and to those that have been here all along, God bless you. And if this is your first time on this channel, I want to say a very big welcome and thank you for tuning into my video today. Kindly endeavor to click the subscription button and also the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever I dropped a new video or come up for prayers. This video you are about to listen to I believe will bless your heart, and help you to come into repentance, and also strengthen your bond with God and with His Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Endeavor to like this video, share it to all your friends, contacts and loved ones, God bless you. A former journalist's journey to heaven and hell. I want to bear witness about my testimony. When the Lord called me, I was in the world in a mire of sludge. I was raised in a college run by nuns in the city of Rio de Janeiro at the Santo Amaro High School. I was going about life in ignorance seeking the truth. I spent a certain time there in this institution for I wanted to be Our Lady Mary's daughter. My parents were wealthy people but they knew nothing about the living God. I did not know him either. I was working in journalism for 23 years of my secular life. I was there in the clutches of the devil. In that period I was working as a press officer. I did journalism and served in my profession for many years. I used to do press services for certain well-known politicians known nationally in Brazil and I had a radio and television program. I got to a point in my life where I needed God. I had a great desire to meet the living God for I believed there was a God out there but I did not know what to do to reach Him. I had a seed of faith. I was in search of God. As a result, I went through several religions, sects, and heresies. I was previously in Catholicism, then in Buddhism. Later I got in Cardassus Spiritism then in the numerology of control that is mind control. I went through the chakra mantras and I studied the tarot and stones and finished in Condomble, that have many followers, mainly Afro-Brazilians. I lived life in the clutch of Satan for 17 years. At the age of 17, I became a master of divine forces of nature. I had to fulfill a lot of sacrifices and obligation to reach that level. I had five blood packs with Satan. My body was opened by razor five times in 17 years. I drank blood and I opened the grave at the cemeteries to do a ritual for fame. As a result, I had success and money. However, there was an emptiness inside of me. For many years I was in ritual and I drank dirty water coming from slaughter animals mixed with leaf fruits. It was stinking water smelling bad. I drank from that dirty water until the day the Lord Jesus took me with his strong hand. He rescued me and I stopped drinking that dirty water. I started to drink the clean and pure crystalline water from the fountain of the throne of God that only the Lord Jesus can give. Praise the name of the Lord. One day I went to shed a lot of animal blood and I drank a lot of blood. As a result, my covenant was renovated and I made new packs with the spirit of nature. Afterward, I went to take shower. I remember my head was shaved during these rituals. It was when I was taking a shower that something beyond ordinary happened in my life. My body was overwhelmed by an incredible feeling that I never felt before. I started to cry for I knew this was God's touch. Something significant was happening to me. At that moment I thought about him that I learned at the nun's college that spoke of the Lord. It just came up in my mind. I sat down right there in the bathroom under the shower. It was the longest birth of my life. From that day onward I spent 30 days crying to God for I wanted to know God. There was actually a great war for my soul for the devil was fighting for my soul. In that period of my life, the enemy did not want to let go. At before me was a path leading to the Lord Jesus and the kingdom of the heavens. On a Sunday when I went down in my garage in order to go to church to my surprise the enemy had taken all the gas out of the car though I left the tank full. I sat on my room crying. When some friends came, they found me in that state. They were worried and they asked me, what's wrong? I was really desperate and I asked the water which was given to me. One of my friends opened the word of God and gave me Matthew 5 which talked about the Beatitudes. When I started to read that passage I sensed the word of God entering my soul. It went down in me and cooled my soul. The word gave me peace and tranquility. On that day, I decided to come to church. 
I gave my life to Christ in a traditional church and I stayed there serving him but the devil worked full power to stop me. I wanted to know the power of God and I was going to that church which was a blessing to me. Every week, I wore the best clothes to go to church. I attended the church and read the Bible. I liked the stories in the Bible but in my soul, I was still asking for more than that. I wanted to experience the touch, the power and the presence of God and on a beautiful day my husband said to me, look there is a church service of the assembly of God on Thursday and if you want we'll go there. I was attending a church which was a traditional church but I wanted something that would change my life. I wanted another touch and another experience. Days later I went with my husband to the church. We were received by a welcoming sister who hugged me and has a friendly conversation. Very quickly I joined the service where there was a lot of people. It was on Thursday at 3 p.m. yet there were a lot of people I thought these people had nothing to do. I was curious to see what was happening there. It was my a journalistic curiosity. I sat on that chair that seems like waiting there for me and then praise began. The church was full and there were people speaking mystery and unknown language. I started to be scared. I said, this must be Macumba. Macumba is an Afro-Brazilian religion that is characterized by a marked syncretism of traditional African religions, European culture, Brazilian spiritualism, and Roman Catholicism. As the service was going on I started to tremble. I rebuked that trembling that was happening to me in the name of Jesus Christ. I wanted to get out but I could not get up from the chair for my legs were trembling. In the end, I fell on that cold floor but I did not lose my consciousness. The power of God was upon me and I was baptized with the Holy Spirit of God in that place and I went home drunk with the Spirit. I got more and more drunk and on that day my life has changed dramatically. My son noticed the change and said I was fanatical. There was total change and total transformation when the power of God fell in my life. Yet Satan was trying to cast doubt and unbelief so that I may doubt the Spirit of God. I began to pray and said, Lord you know that I serve the devil, otherwise he cannot be part of my life anymore but I want you to talk to me if what I'm feeling is you. I am truly yours. And the Lord gave me Revelation 19. The Holy Spirit of God opened my understanding. I could read and understand and discern the word. It was something awesome, praise be to the name of the Lord. At that moment Satan fell to the ground in my life in the name of Jesus. Right after this experience, I had to confront the spirit of lies for I was a journalist. Sometimes I had to lie because of the profession. Moreover, I had a demonic spirit of consumerism. I made a lot of money in my profession which I spend on buying things that I don't use. I always felt like going shopping. One fine day I was doing my devotion for every morning. Before leaving I read and meditate on the word and that day there was a light in heaven strong and blue. A very beautiful day but something caught my attention in the sky. It was a white point that was growing. I was looking at it when suddenly I saw a lion flying and in a split second, he was in my place. He had eyes of fire. When he landed in my room with his wings I prayed. Immediately I was raptured in the air for that lion took me up in the air and I went contemplating the land the cities and the many places. There was no mouth communication but telepathic communication with the lion. I contemplated the planet Earth from space. As we were rising I began to fall. I was spinning around falling then I entered a place where I saw big shackles. I fell in that place at a tremendous speed. Everything was covered with something sticky so slippery and suddenly I got to the end of a tunnel. A door opened before me. There was the angel of the Lord who came for me. He said, come I will show you how. When I entered that place I came across a tragic scene. It was horrible, a dreary place, a place really hot. There is nothing that can define the horrible stench. There were prison cells in the dungeon of hell. In that place I saw 150 to 200 people in each cell, there was a lot of people in many cells and those people were being afflicted by thousands of demons of all sizes. I saw the affliction of people who were crying. Truly, people were calling for help. They were screaming and crying and I looked and I saw that people in hell were conscious. When people died they do not lose consciousness and they remember everything they left in the world. Cell of the popular figures. The angel took me to the departments of hell. Another gate opened. Inside were smaller cells. I started to contemplate people who were known authorities, 
people of the world of music industries. I saw cultural artists. I saw the Archbishop and I went looking for people I have known on the surface. The devils afflicted these people. In this cell of the popular figures, they were more demons but a smaller number of people. The angel tells me, people who are very well known on the surface of the earth who think that there is no Jesus and there is no God when they arrived in hell they are in much more distressed realities. And when I looked there were also pastors, there were women leaders of prayer circles and there were young people. I said, why are these people there? The angel said, this pastor used to teach that hell was not what counts for they were already saved. Once you accepted Jesus you're already saved. She teaches that you do not need to worry about entering heaven or hell. We are under grace, not the law. The angel told me, the women leaders and three young people who were there were people who contend with people. They caused dissent and division within the church. They were also people who robbed God for they were not faithful in tithing. Robbers will not enter heaven. We think that a robber is the one who's stealing out there but not giving tithe is equal to stealing. Many are robbing God. Tithing is faithfulness to godly worship. Thieves will not enter into the glory of God. We steal in tithes and offerings which is written in the word. And the word is the truth and the light in our paths. We have to walk in it for it's our manual. The angel was explaining to me right there what was happening in that place. He tells me those people who were there were full of gossip and slandering that led them to this place. Instead of slandering we have to pray for our neighbor and not judge them. If your brother is down you can pray and fast for him. Try to rescue and bring him back instead of slandering and gossiping. Then another gate opened before us. The gathering of dark power in hell. When the gate opened, I saw a great meeting taking place in this part of hell. It was the gathering of demons and fallen angels. Evil powers were gathered here. The kingdom of hell is well organized. In this gathering, there were principalities powers fallen angels who are accountable to Satan who supervise the hierarchy of the forces of the universe. The demons that are the soldiers are accountable to the rulers of darkness. Dominion is accountable to the power of attorney. Powers are accountable to principalities and principalities are accountable to Satan. They were all analyzing their device and the deceptive infrastructure of lies over the world and they were trying to upgrade and modernize their tactics and the strategies. The vision of Satan is to take the greatest proportion and number of human and if possible the whole humanity. He knows he will be defeated. He will truly be cast into the lake of fire and sulfur for eternity. He hates the human race for we are in the image and in the likeness of God. The devil is in the world more and more acting with greater force and he is invading the end time church with a great army of demons with him in order to take God's people away from the presence of the Lord. He wants to cool the faith of many and stop the prayer. They are working hard. In this summit, I saw the devil of rejection there in hell. I saw the demon of insomnia whose name is Sonia. There's another demon called Bai. There are a lot of demons whose names are words that are every day on people's lips. Every time we say Bai the demon called Bai receives honors in hell. There is a demon in hell who gets honor every time we say good morning for that is his name. The same thing when we say good evening and good night for these are demons names. There is also a demon called God damn it. There is another demon called the F word who gets honor in hell when people say the F word they have named that in people lips. Whenever people say go to hell there is a demon that is honor in hell for his name is go to hell. In this meeting, I saw the demon of the rebellion who is causing a lot of rebellion on the earth and when there is rebellion in the church against the hierarchy he gets honor in hell. I want to tell you that these demons are souls winners. They are accountable to the devil and they always parade souls of men that they had captured and swallowed to the devil. They are reaping souls through suicide homicides through drugs alcoholism and accident. During this evil meeting, devils were always consulting and trying to figure out a new tactic to capture authentic and true men of God. Whenever God raised a preacher he would become the target of the council of demons. I saw the devil asking about a particular pastor and he said to the other demons, can you give me his number? His church is growing. We must tie him to adultery. We must get a woman to fool with him. And they were preparing to give the information that the demon wanted. In this gathering, they were plotting and conspiring to bring down men of God and women of God who are women of prayer. 
I saw the demon who worked in the church and who coordinate these operations inside the church to cause men of God to fall. Children in Hell Children are going to hell for the souls of the little one has become the prey of the enemy. The angel took me to another place where I beheld children in hell. When I saw this extreme reality I was disturbed. I said, how can these children be here? They seem five to seven. The angel told me, when the children learn to ask food, drink, and clothes of their preference it means that they have developed the knowledge of good and evil. When the child says I do not like these clothes I want that one when the child says I do not like this food I want the other one he has developed the ability to distinguish things. At that moment he has entered the age of accountability and he has developed his own will. He now has the knowledge and become accountable. It is at that moment that Christian must make sure that they are teaching the child the way of the Lord for the devil is now targeting the souls of the little one. In hell, I observed many children and we must be careful about children program and animation for the dragon has entered children cartoon and animation to take their soul to hell. The angel told me God's time of life is not counted like the man. The Lord counter aged the moment we raise our hand and we accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. We grow up when we are in the presence of the Lord when we talk about Jesus and take the word to the people. We grow when we are rescuing other and when we are multipliers of the kingdom of heavens. Each of us will stand before the throne and we will be judged on the basis of the number of souls that were to be delivered as part of our mission. The Central Television in Hell The angel of the Lord took me to another place in hell and when the gate opened, I contemplated a place that seemed to be a closed circuit television. There were a lot of monitors displaying programs from all over the world. The angel said, here is the eye of the beast. He is already in control and operational and ruling the world through the television. World TV is connected to this central station right in the lava of hell. The Antichrist is interacting and influencing the whole world. We are going to see the Antichrist. I want to say to the brothers that the Antichrist is already in this world. He was begotten by a virgin in a ritual of fertility and he is in the European community. He is ready to reveal his face to the world and the world will see him. He's already working and this man will be the key to this peace treaty. Cartoons in this place, I contemplated animals that are cartoons character. A lot of them are in Disney World. They are demons. In this place, there were the people who are a demon of male homosexuality. There was the Teletubbies, Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La and Poe. The angel said all these characters are demons. All the popular characters in horror movies are demons. Today all these demons are already in the world. At that time some of them were in preparation for release. I did not have these games. At that time there was no mention of them. Ten years since I was raptured everything was already prepared in hell and I started to look at all these cartoons. I said, but my kids watch all this. I thought it was really cute. The angel told me, when kids sit before the screen and watch these cartoons these demons enter through the hearing and the vision and they lodge in the stomach and body of the children. Once these demons enter the children they would begin to work and modify the personality and attitude of the children who begin to become restlessly disobedient. The children will begin to have a change of attitude. Often the child will begin to have a sleep issue. The child will begin to be worked on by the demons of rejection in him. As long as the demon remains in the child, the child will grow up with thoughts like, no one likes me. My father does not like me. The demon of rejection will follow him in the church, among friends, in the workplace. The demon of rejection will arrange and prepare the place for the spirit of depression and this unclean spirit of depression comes with insomnia which is a devil. They are all demons working together and it was first rejection then depression then insomnia then suicide and they are working together in the life of the victim by creating situations for other demons to come. This devil is earning more honors in hell. Depression is working and leading people to suicide ending the person's life and Satan get one more rewards for him plus one soul for him. Depression is also taking people to male homosexuality. And then the angel took me out of that place. Fashion and Styles When we went through another door that opened there appeared to be a big fashion show and there was a great movement. The movement was organized work. The angel said, this place here is where Satan prepares everything human used in the world. Everything that people wear on the surface. Men and women shoes are made here. 
Men and women fashions and styles are all designed here and they are prepared here in advance before being released on the surface. The long skirts with the cracks, skirts with the cracks right in the bottom, on the sides and the front. I saw in this place skirts that had not yet existed back then but today they are in the trend and fashionable. There were tip-top skirts and they are savvy. I saw splinter clothing which they said to be very comfortable. There was the fashion that is used today by everyone which is called free belly. That's when a model arrives in hell and the first thing she did was to download skirts. She was supposed to be the owner of the brand. She began to produce the free belly that women wear today. It was already there at that time in hell where I was watching the pants. We have to know that models, stylists and fashion designers are not always the creators for demon come up with fashions and new trend. I saw a demon shooting an arrow in the mind of a fashion designer. The arrow was an inspiration that came like a thought in the mind of the stylist and fashion designers who did not know that they have created the fashion that was already set in hell which will be sold globally and will eventually enter the church. The goal is really the church of Jesus. The goal is you who are in the company of God. I was looking at everything in this section of hell. The pants yes in hell they were designing the clothes women wear including men. There were also pants for men. I know brothers in Scotland wear skirts but they do not wear it day to day because it is culture and I want to say for the brothers about jeans. Some of these clothes are enshrined every last Friday of the month in the city of London in England. It is sacrificed at the altar in a ritual by a Satanist with human blood as shed. I had a lot of jeans because I worked in jeans. They say jeans do not go out of style. I often pass to observe all these years between fashion coming out and see their jeans. Then the angel took me where I contemplated high heels and I said even the shoe. The angel pointed to a female demon. There was a transfigured demon who was a woman. She dressed in a skirt that revealed her intimate part. The skirt was marking her intimate part. Any sister coming to church with this skirt will cause brothers to sin in their mind. The skirts were there in the shoe. I went looking at those pants for men which were there. I looked at the transparent clothes and all the shoes. We're still going to see a lot of fashion very soon. There are style and new trends that are still going to come up from hell. A lot of fashions are still there in hell. Makeup, beauty product and jewelry. Then the angel took me through another door. I found a large bench and there were all kinds of makeup product, eyeliners, face powders. The masks were also there. I saw the blushes lipsticks, the last collection was all there in a hell of all colors that did not yet exist here. I saw the nail varnishes of all kinds on the base. Beloved, everything that hides and conceals the truth is a lie. Makeup is a lie. I contemplated the hair dyes of this year. The paintings of nails from brown to red. The angel told me, all this makeup hides God's truth for Satan is a lie. We were moving in this section of the beauty product. I found that I liked the earring so well hung golden silver earring hip bracelet. I saw a bangle that looked like a Christmas tree meeting the prince of this world. Then the angel took me in another place so much organized and beautiful. A door opened before us and there came a man all dressed in white. He was cute. Actually, he was the most beautiful man I had seen in my life. That man was perfect and he came in my direction and I started to look at him. And when he was coming closer to me his eyes became evil but the angel stretched his hand before him to stop him. And the man asked the angel, what is she doing here? At that moment the claws started to come out of this man. He started to transform himself and his clothes started to tear up. He started to grow monstrous and it was horrible. I remember these horror movies. They lose in comparison to the devil for he is truly ugly. One eye all bogey on the whole side hairy it was rather brownish green. It was weird. I said, Jesus take me away from here. And at that moment when I called the name of the Lord Jesus I was taken from that place. The Kingdom of Heaven Suddenly I landed on a beautiful green grass different I've never seen it on the earth. The angel who was there in hell said, I'm going to show you the glory of God for the heaven is beautiful. I entered that place where I beheld the music of heaven whose melody was soft. There is no similar sound and no man can produce and create a sound of this celestial song that the angels and the saints of heaven were emitting. The multitude was all the time attending the throne and there were thousands of angels attending the big reverberation which was the glory of God. 
I could see his perfect shape though his face was like the sun. He is so beautiful like brilliant glazing turning into crystal. In heaven, the angels go back and forth in a great speed. When I got in heaven I was in such glory that I did not remember life on the earth anymore. We do not remember anything anymore. I did not remember that I was married. I forgot that I had a husband and children and a mother. I did not remember relatives, friends or colleagues. We have totally lost consciousness of earthly thing in the heavenly world. Moreover, in the celestial region, we do not walk. The people float and fly in the paradise of God. In the celestial paradise, everything is all gold and crystal. Heaven is like liquid gold. It is such pure gold that we do not have on earth. It is something tremendous. I've never seen anything like this. Then we arrived before a magnificent building in this golden city. When the angel opened the gate I walked through that door. I saw the angel heading to a wall of gold and he pulled something like a box and he opened that little box and told me, here are your hairs. I remember in my professional life I had short hair because it was easier and quicker to go to work in television with short hair. It was easier to brush. The angel showed me my hair that I used to cut which were collected and transformed into gold. The angel collects women hair so that they will not go to waste. The recording angel. And then the angel took me from there. We arrived before another stupendous building in this celestial world where there was a very large movement of angels working and writing on rolls. The angel told me, here is the archive library of heaven where registration and recording take place. The angel told me, each saint on the earth have been assigned a recording angel whose duty is to write and record every action of the saint on the earth. As we are here gathered in the church there is an angel writing and recording everything I am talking about. All the action and deeds we do are recorded in celestial books by angels. There is an angel who keeps track of everything you do everything you say and think everything is registered. The angel went there in this archive hall and he pulled the golden book upon which were written all my action. He came with that golden book and he opened it. He said, everything is written. The angel told me when the gospel is preached whenever people come to Christ the Lord erases all their sins and throw everything there in the sea of oblivion. Truly everything you did before your repentance is thrown in the sea of oblivion. It is from the moment we lift our hand and confess our sin that all of our sins since birth are erased and forgotten. We are thus newborn and new creation whose sins were thrown into oblivion never to be remembered again. It is when we are born again in the spirit that the Lord assigned the angel of archive and record. His duty is to write everything we do and say. Everything is recorded for we are now a new creation. We are born anew. The recording angel will be writing every one of our action and deed throughout the day while we are awake the moment we lay down to sleep. This angel of archive and recording will ascend to heaven and the guardian angel will be protecting us in the night when we sleep. When we wake up again in the morning the angel of archive and recording would be writing everything we do and say and think. From that place, the angel took me somewhere else before another beautiful building which shines brightly in heaven. Everything is very resplendent in God's paradise. There are no words to define and to describe the beauty that is the glory of God. We were now before the anointing building. I went into that place and inside were the saints of heaven together. The angel told me, here is the anointing room. In this beautiful place, angels were working and pouring a milky liquid on God's servants as they do different works of God. The angel said, look when people are used by the Spirit of God, when the saint are talking about Jesus to their neighbor, when you say to someone Jesus loves you, when you're leaving to evangelize, when a man is preaching the word, when the Spirit of God is healing, when you are operating in the Spirit, there will be an overflow of oil. Praise the name of the Lord. Then we left that celestial building and we arrived before another beautiful building. When we entered there was a movement of the chalices. Actually, they were golden goblets and golden cups. I contemplated those very beautiful goblets. Everything in heaven is very beautiful very perfect and I saw those empty chalices which were with a little liquid, others were already overflowing. The angels told me, here are the tears that I harvested from the prayers of the saints on earth. Angels collect tear that fall from our eyes when we are in the presence of the Lord. When we cry in the presence of the Father when we are seeking the Spirit of God when we are crying with our problems and our difficulties to the Lord, our tears are collected in these golden cups. When those tears begin to overflow the blessings will start to overflow. 
the petition will be delivered. Praised be the name of the Lord. Your tears do not stay on the earth. They do not stay on the ground. They are taken when you're washing your face after praying. There are times we feel that big rejoicing in the Holy Spirit. You will start to cry though you do not even know why. The tears will be coming down and your tears are being gathered. Crowns of the Saints And from that place, the angel took me to another celestial building highly respondent with a crown of the saints were kept. Our crowns are glorious and not like the crowns of kings of the earth. The more you win souls, the more adornment and precious stones your crown gets. When you rescue lives through the preaching of the gospel, precious stones and pebbles are added onto your crown. You have to do the work of God. The more you are committed the more precious stones are added on your crown. Let the name of the Lord be praised. When we left this building I was contemplating movement of angels in this eternal and golden world where there is no night where I could hear the song of angel and melody everywhere. The song is everywhere in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord for heaven is something very beautiful. And there the angel took me towards the glory which was the throne of the Father. I suddenly contemplated that I was in front of the throne of God. I could not see God until then I did not know whether I was going to stay forever there in the celestial paradise enjoying the wonder of heaven. I contemplated the throne but I could not see the face of God because of the glory which very strong in my eyes. To the side of the throne were thousands of angels, seraphim cherubim and happy saints of heaven praising God. They were smaller angels and big angels. The angels had harp and trumpet on their mouths. They were singing with soft sound something very beautiful. It was perfect tuning. Praise the Lord's name. I beheld before the throne of the Father a beautiful table where we are going to seat with the Lord Jesus Christ. This table has no feet. It had no end and was like floating. It was ornamented beautifully. Everything is beautiful and wonderful in the celestial world. On the chairs prepared for the saints, I saw our name engraved on stones which seem like round pebbles where are our names recorded. My name on earth is Francelina however in the eternal kingdom of heaven I have a new name engraved on for the chair which is mine for I have a new identity in the ages to come which is different from my earthly identity which you received when you were begotten in the womb of your mother. When we were born again we had received a new identity in the kingdom of heaven and we have a new name. Later the Lord showed me in hell, the liberal church in hell. The angel took me to another place and we opened the door. I looked the angel said. Here is the church that is not yet rise. The liberal and materialist church that will rise. Grace be with you all that have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Amen. Bye for now. Hello everyone thank you for watching our video for today, I trust it blesses your heart. Endeavor to like this video and share it to your loved ones, I pray the grace of the living God will continue to rest upon you and upon everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus, Amen. If you have any question or comments kindly drop them in the comment section, God bless you. See you in our next video and have a lovely day, bye for now.